We're from America. Everyone thinks that's the most political song on the record. And because, as I said, it came in the order in which I sang it. I wrote that the, the week that I voted, which was incredibly um, enlightening experience. So I don't have a driver's license, as I shouldn't. At no point should I be behind, be behind the wheel of a vehicle. Unless it's parked and there's someone's head is in my lap, but... There was no real... They didn't even ask, like, I just went up, can I vote? And they're like, what's your credentials? And I'm like, sure, sure. and I mumbled it. All right, over there. I've, I filmed it. And I voted, and I didn't really understand. I just knew that I wanted to vote for the president. I wanted to vote against the... Uh, Look, I, I've, I wouldn't advocate marriage because I've had a bad experience. Doesn't mean I won't get married again, but um, I, I've, I figured if, you know, gay marriage was a big issue, let them have it so they can suffer the way I did. And they'll figure it out on their own. They won't ever vote for it again. So I wanted to vote for those and for, like, no extra pig shit in the farms or, you know, whatever the prop, props are, props, you know. I just went in, I voted, I was drunk, that's the way you should vote. And um, later that day, I went back to the studio, and I could have gone off on a list of we're from America, where this, where this, this, and this. But I thought the, the, the most important things were the first few things I said, where Jesus was born, where they'd let you come on their faces, where we eat our young, and where we speak American. And... It just, it wasn't because I wanted to make a statement on America. It's because at that point in the record, I had gotten through all these songs and I played them for my friends. And they were like, wow, you really fucked up. What's, what's wrong? Like, I'm from America. <laughs> that's, that's more of the, I guess, impetus for the song than, than it being political. And of course it is political, but you have to hear it, what's before it, to really appreciate how it fits into the scheme of my mind. And I'm a goddamn motherfucking Geddon, which will be eternally and properly capitalized and hyphenated, which is part of the fun of it, because I made up the word. It's, um, when you hear it by itself, it sounds purely sarcastic. When you hear it in context of the record, it has a much more sardonic or like serious bitterness to it. So it's, it's just strange. I wouldn't have picked it as the first single. My, my choice of the first single would have been Four Rusted Horses because I think that represents the record the most. And that's what I'm going to open the tour with. I give that away right now. The album was finished on my birthday, January 5th, which is 1-5, and I was born in 1969, so the 15 is very overwhelming. It's always been in, since Mechanical Animals when I started making it present. Um, I'm a different person. At the beginning of the record, I was a person who confused love with um, dependence and, uh, I guess, desire with um, weakness and things like that. So by the end of the record, I was no longer the same person. And it, it, it may be autobiographical, but it's only because I realized I can't create a more fucked up story than my own. And the characters that are in my life, I don't need to imagine or create metaphors for them. But at the same time, I set out to tell a story that everyone can relate to. I don't want to tell a story about my personal relationships. I want to tell a story about being a person that wants to try and be human. I think that's how everyone feels. You know, I, I'm not trying to be the ultimate outsider. Um, you know, um, whatever I accomplished with that. I, I just wanted to see, what do I have to say to anyone I didn't know? So by track 15, if you say to me now, I'll love you until we die, and you change your mind, run. Mm -hmm. 